Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use StreamYard for your own live streams. So now let's get started. First of all you can get started from here or if you already have an existing account you can go to login. At here I will just use my Google account and I'm going to pick this account and then I'm going to wait for it to load for a couple of seconds. And this is how your StreamYard will look like. So basically we have some options on the left which are home, library, destinations and members. Basically our main work will be on the home page in which you can start your own streams. So basically here you can see upcoming or past streams. To create a new stream you can just go to create and click on it. Here you will have three options. The three options will pretty have the sim have similar interface and similar options so I will just show you one of these three options and the other two will have similar features however each one has its own uh, purpose and its own objective so if you want to start a live stream you can click on this first option and here you will have two options whether you can uh, go to the studio to record a video or you can just use a pre-recorded video however this th second option is only available for the paid subscriptions so to use studio you can either add a destination so that you can stream stream uh, through one of your platforms or you can just skip uh, this stage. So in case I chose a destination, it will give me an option to add one of my accounts in these platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Hopin, and you can also custom your own channel in case you, you don't find it in these above channels. So you can use Vimeo for example or any other platform that you can deal with. However, if you don't want to um, stream uh, through one of your platforms and you don't want to connect these platforms to your, to your own StreamYard account, you just want to try, you can skip this stage so, so that you will stream only on the studio of StreamYard. Now you need to give your stream or your studio a title. So I will just give it title of tutorial and I will create live stream. Now it's creating my live stream. It will need access to my camera and to my mic. So here I will just mute both. I closed my camera and I closed my mic. So if I started my mic, for example, here I can test if it's working or not. Now I will close it. And here I can access on more settings like general settings, camera settings, audio, I can also uh, adjust a virtual background and I, I can also access on hotkeys which will help me to um, be able to reach options with my keyboard so that it will be easier and faster after you are done giving permission uh, to, to stream your to access your own camera and mic you can go now and enter your studio once you are here you can see the interface you have many options you can add uh, your camera and mic to stage here, so they are now available. If you if we unmute it, you will see that your mic is working, and same goes for camera. So now you can enable or disable any one of them, so that you can appear um, in the in the real time with your own with your own face and voice. You can also choose one of these layouts, so you can basically choose to. Um, get this layout where two people can appear on the screen you can also use this layout in which you you and your screen will be recorded or this layout in which you will be a, a small icon and your screen will take the larger portion so let's try this one for example so here you, you can you can see that there is no difference because i did not add my screen yet so i need to add it from present here and once I click on present, I will have options to add slides, to add extra camera, to add video file, or to share my screen. So I will go with share my screen. It's going to be somehow illusional, so try to focus. And now let's share our screen. And I will choose the entire screen. Then I will click on it to be added, and I will click on share. And as I said, it will be somehow illusional. 
So this is how it looks like. As you can see, it's screens inside screens. So basically, here you can see that this portion, this small portion, is only for my face, and this larger portion is for my my uh, screen. I can also change layouts from here. So if I chose this layout, I will have half of the screen and my uh, half of the uh, of the space here and my screen will have the other half so I prefer this one because it gives more focus to your own screen you can also press on edit layout here so that you can um, let's just press and got it so that you can uh, adjust your own space once you are done you can press here on cancel or on save if you adjusted anything you can also uh, add new layouts from here Anyway, I'm just going to leave this now. I will cancel this. So here you can also, as we said, you can uh, stop sharing screen. You can present different type of screens from here. And once you are done, you can also invite other teammates to your own screen. Once you are done, you can just um, adjust themes here. You can adjust banner. You can get a private chat. So it's basically all of options and it's all in one platform so once you are done you can just go and uh, and leave the studio if you want you can also report any problems you've got during streaming so by clicking on leave studio you are leaving StreamYard studio and you will be returned to your own home page and now you will find your uh, studio here so whenever you want to enter it you will have the option to do so you can also invite guests, edit it, or delete broadcast. Now, by clicking on create, live stream, you can also go to add a destination. So if you chose to add a YouTube channel, it will ask you for permission to your own channel. And once you do so, you will be able to stream directly on YouTube or whatever channel you choose. Here in the free version, you can see that you have many limitations. For example, you cannot use uh, the pre-recorded video. You, can, you can't also use more than five hours storage for your own recordings. So if you want to upgrade to paid versions, you can go to upgrade here to explore more about their versions and their paid subscriptions so that you can choose whatever is most suitable for you. Here you can also see all the features of each plan so that you can compare between them and select the one which is most desirable and most suitable to your own business and your own uh, preferences. And this is how easy you can use StreamYard. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.